Hi friends, I'm gonna be doing a natural get ready with me. I just lifted shoulders at the gym and I literally can't lift my arms. I swear I'm not being dramatic, like it hurts. I'm gonna put this headband on to get my hair out of the way. I literally have makeup all over it. I'm gonna put on some of this Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer. I have pretty dry skin, so I always have to start with like some type of moisturizer or serum. I was at a shoot yesterday, so literally all of my natural makeup is in this bag. So we're just gonna use that. I'm gonna use this Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I really couldn't tell you what got all over it, but guess what? It still works. I would just rub that in with my hands, and then if I need to, I go over it with this brush. Morphe M439. Some Beauty Blender Concealer. I used this to uh, rub that in. Milk Makeup Blush. Also going in with this NARS Bronzer Stick. I've been really loving using like the creams for this lately. I just feel like it makes it look a lot more like natural and it blends together better. Now I'm using this Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm just gonna set under my eyes and my forehead and like my chin a little bit. Cause if you set everywhere, then you're just gonna be like, I don't know, like flat. Cause I still like to keep some of that like glowiness in there. I'm gonna take some ColourPop brow wax and I'm just gonna brush those bad boys up a little. My mom told me my eyebrows were too long, so the other day I just took a pair of scissors and cut it, so now there's a missing chunk that I have to fill in on that side. Taking this headband off now. I'm obsessed with this Benefit lip tint. It is so good. You just put it on like this. And then I'm gonna put this gloss over top. I'm putting on more blush because I have a problem. Some could say it's an addiction. I, I just love blush. On my lashes, I'm gonna first take this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and see how it's curved. That's because it gives volume. And after that one, I go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. As you can see, this one's very dense, so it gives length. So if you combine them, you get the best of both worlds. So this is what they look like after the roller lash. And this is what they look like after the Milk Makeup one on top. A little bit of Anastasia highlighter. And lastly, I'm gonna do some fake freckles. I'm using an orangey bronzer shade just to start forming those out. Then I just use this brow pen over top. I'm gonna go change and fix my hair. Okay guys, that is this little natural look all completed. And please like this video if you stayed until the end and follow me if you don't already. Love you guys. What's up you guys? So I just got some Beauty Blender products today and we're gonna be trying those out. So first off, we have our little classic pink Beauty Blender egg boys. Some people don't know this, but you have to wet them. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. After it's wet, it doubles in size. Now we're gonna put on their Bounce Concealer. The packaging is literally everything. Look at the pink. The wand is pink too. I'm gonna pop this on my under eyes. The concealer has really good coverage, so a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just bouncing my Beauty Blender and blending that outward. You always wanna be bouncing the Beauty Blender, not swiping it. The concealer? Looks like I'm seriously airbrushed in real life. I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. I'm gonna be talking about where my inspiration came for this look right here because people love to ask me that. So the first thing that I saw when I woke up was this lotion bottle sitting on my dresser and I really liked how the sparkles were like falling in the design right there. So I immediately thought that I would put that under my eyes and I did a very rough sketch right here. So that's where the underneath came from and then I added some glitter and gems to represent that. And for this crown right here, I found this masquerade mask on Etsy and I really liked the top half of it. So I made a little sketch on a piece of wax paper of a similar design and then I went over it with hot glue. And the hot glue technique I learned when I created this ice princess look. So this is the mask right here, it is all hot glue. I went over it with glitter and gems to add some spice. So that's how my brain works and that's how I created this. So when people ask me where I get my inspiration from, I genuinely don't know how to answer that because it could be literally a lotion bottle. It just depends on what it is that day. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Sid Stars of the Week. And in this series, we're going to be discussing certain products that I've been enjoying extra this week. First up is the Arches and Halos Brow Night Serum. About like a week and a half ago, my mom told me my eyebrows were too long, so I took this pair of scissors and just cut them. Needless to say, they looked horrendous and I needed them to grow back fast. And the results from this are crazy. Next up is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I've been out in the sun a lot and my legs were very dry and ashy. So after I shaved, I put this on my legs and they were glowing. They smelled like a tropical beach goddess and they are still smooth and it's been days. My last product is the Drunk Elephant Luxury Face Oil. So obviously I do a lot of makeup, so I'm always washing and cleansing my face and that's really hard on your skin. So it was feeling really tight and really dry to the point where it was hurting me. This is my third day that I've taken off from makeup and I've been applying this oil every day. 
and my skin is back to glowing and hydrated. Come back next week to see my stars of the week.